Trollmaster's brand new control system, the Tent X, is a compact hydroponic control system designed for single zone grow tents. Just like our other Trollmaster controllers, the Tent X is designed to be a modular system, allowing for system customization based on a grower's needs. Each user can select the modules and sensors they want to use, starting off with the basic sensors and modules, and then later they can add other functions as their needs change. The Tent X allows users to monitor and control both the environment and the irrigation in a grow tent using one single controller. Through the Tent X, your irrigation and climate control devices work together to create an optimal growth environment for your plants. First, let's talk about the hardware. Tent X has one RJ45 and four RJ12 ports on the bottom, each serving a specific purpose. The first port, starting from the left side, is the internet port. This port is used to connect your TCS1 controller to the internet, allowing you to connect with Troll Master's app TM Plus Pro. The second port is the sensor port. All of your sensors will be connected to this line that includes the environmental sensors, car sensors, or the nutrients and grow medium sensors. The third port is the device port. You will use this port to connect all of the device control modules in your tent to the equipment you have. We have modules to control most devices used in a grow tent. The fourth and fifth ports are the lighting control lines to which you will connect your lights to. You can control up to two lighting channels individually. Having two separate lighting control lines also gives you two-channel control when using Think Grow LED in your tent. That allows you to control the supplemental red LED and the full spectrum LED individually on the Think Grow LED fixtures. What makes the Tent X special is that it integrates both climate control and fertigation devices in one controller. We designed the Tent X to monitor and control all aspects of indoor horticulture in small scale grow tents. The Tent X is equally happy being installed in a small 2x4 grow tent or even in the largest tents. Whatever size tent you are using with the TCS1, you will have precise and reliable control of all environmental factors. The Tent X comes with a 3-in-1 temperature, humidity, and light sensor called the MBS-TH. Users can daisy chain the MBS-TH sensor with the CO2 sensor, MBS-S8, the full-spectrum quantum sensor, MBS-PAR, and the smoke and water detectors, the MBS-SD and WD1, into the Tent X's sensor port. Additionally, you can connect an AMP3 sensor board to the Tent X's sensor port and connect water content, EC, and temperature and pH sensors to the sensor board. The Tent X also supports the connection of up to four DSTI plug-in control modules in order to control devices. Along with all of the sensors that can be connected, the Tent X also supports the connection of up to 10 DS-type plug-in control modules in order to control various temperature, humidity, and CO2 devices, and two additional EC fan control modules to precisely control the flow of air to cool and dehumidify the tent. Due to the compact environment of a grow tent, you can only assign a single sensor for each type of sensor you will be using. Refer to the specification sheet that comes in the package for further information. Trollmaster provides remote monitoring and control for the Tent X through our TM Plus Pro app. You can access real-time data through your smartphone and have remote control of the devices connected to the Tent X, allowing freedom to travel and be away from your growing environment. Trial Master users can also share their progress, interact with other growers, access historical data, and have access to many useful functions in the app. When you first plug in the Tent X, you will land on the homepage. This is where the sensor data for the grow tent is displayed. Press the left and right arrows to switch between the climate parameter data, the nutrients, and grow medium monitoring data the device status page, and the alarm notification page. Each page provides specific information about the Tent X, climate parameters data. Using the MBSTH and other environmental sensors, you are able to continuously monitor the data collected by these sensors. You can see the light level, temperature, humidity, and CO2 ppm readings. The optional CO2 and PAR light sensors must also be installed to monitor the light and CO2 levels. Nutrients and medium data with the use of the MP3, you can connect sensors to continuously monitor the nutrients and grow medium status. Next, if you press enter when you're on the homepage, that will take you further into the settings where you will then see five blocks that contain all of the user set points for the controller. It is these user set points that you will set to determine how your grow tent will operate.
The metabolic processes of plants vary during the day and at night, so different climate settings should be applied accordingly. 10x allows you to do just that. Set the day and night climate settings separately by simply pressing enter on the day and night climate setting block. You will then enter the page where you can set the temperature, humidity, and CO2 in the grow tent for both day and night times. Use the arrow buttons on the controller to navigate this page and press enter if you like to change the value for a climate parameter. Use the up and down arrows to set the values and press enter again to confirm. Once you have set your temperature, humidity, and CO2 set points, the devices you have connected to the 10X will automatically regulate their respective parameters, making automation simple and effective. Now let's talk about the device settings. In order to connect your climate control and irrigation devices to the 10X, simply use Troll Master's DS type plugin modules, with each type of module serving its specific designated use. Use Troll Master's DSD module to connect the climate control devices. Plug the module into a power outlet, and then plug the temperature device into the DSD module. You can then address and pair the temperature device with the controller. Follow the same procedure for your humidity devices using the DSH modules, the DSC modules for the CO2 devices, and the DSB module for the time control devices. Troll Master's Tent X controller allows up to 10 plug in modules to be connected to the Tent X. Temperature control, humidity control, and CO2 control all have two slots each, reserved for control. Four slots are for timer control devices like pumps or solenoids. In addition, you can use Troll Master's new 4RS2 device with the Tent X to seamlessly control four separate AC electrical devices one outlet for temperature, one for humidity, and two for programmable timer devices. When using the 4RS2, a slot will be taken up for each device on the Tent X. Users are free to connect whatever device they'd like to connect, whether it's more climate control devices or irrigation devices. If connecting irrigation devices, users can use the multi-function irrigation timer DSB module to assign their pumps and valves to the Tent X and set up irrigation schedules. In order to program a device by schedule, press enter on any of the program tabs from P1 to P4. The LCD screen will then display three options where you can set what kind of schedule you'd like to set. If you choose a single schedule, there are only two inputs you'll have to do, where you simply input when the device turns on and when it turns off. If you choose multi-schedule, you can set how many times and for how long the device runs in a 24-hour period, up to 12 times. If you choose the recycle timer, you can arrange for your devices to run for a certain period after setting up the start time, and then repeat that same duration however many times you like, working as a cycle. Once you have set up your preferred irrigation schedule, you can leave the rest to the Tent X controller. The TCS1 will automatically control your timer control devices based on your predetermined settings. With the use of the various LMA adapters from Troll Master, Users can control almost every horticultural growing light in the market, whether it is LED or HID. Troll Master offers extreme versatility in controlling your grow lights using the Tent X. Using intelligent features, the Tent X monitors and controls your lights with safety in mind. The Tent X can control two separate groups of lights using the two separate channels of lighting control. This makes it easy for growers to have more adaptable lighting options to fit their crop's respective needs. To set up your light settings, press enter on the light block. You will then see the two light line setting options. Use the arrows to select line 1 or line 2 and then press enter. You will then land on the page where you can create the light settings for the selected line. Here, you will be able to select whether you're using HID or LED light. On top of that, you can select the on and off time for your lights, the temperature at which the lights will dim, the sunrise and sunset time, and more. Once you have configured your light settings, the Tent X will automatically control your lights accurately and safely based on these settings. In a grow tent, growers mainly use an exhaust fan for circulation in the tent. For even greater control of the air circulation through your tent, the Tent X also offers growers the option to use both an exhaust and an intake fan if they wish to. In Tent X's fan settings, there are assigned designated positions for each fan. F1 settings are for the exhaust fan, and F2 settings are for the intake fan, with each fan having its own specific settings and functions. 
The fan control on the tent X works by constantly monitoring the temperature and humidity within the tent. Depending on how you have it set up, the fans will then increase their speed if the temperature or the humidity rises and will slow the fans down as the temperature and humidity starts to go down. The fans will be coordinated to work together to accurately control the environment within the tent using fresh air and an open loop control scheme. Each intake and exhaust fan will require an EFC1 adapter in order to be connected to the Tent X. The Tent X can control either 0 to 10 volt or PWM type EC fan. So make sure you select the correct fan type on the EFC1 adapter during setup. In order to connect two EFC1 adapters to the controller, simply use a Y splitter or the SBH1 to daisy chain two EFC1 adapters into the device port for each fan. When pairing the EFC1 adapters with the Tent X, each adapter will automatically choose its role, either as an F1 or an F2 fan. Make sure you're connecting the right type of fan into each EFC1 adapter's RJ12 port. Once your intake and exhaust fans are fully set up and ready to go, you can then configure your fan settings in the fan block. Enter the fan block. You will then see F1 and F2. First, let's talk about the F1 settings. On the F1 setting page, you will have many options to configure how you want your exhaust fan to work and when to activate it for both day and night. You should first choose which mode you want to set the fan to. The F1 fan comes with four modes, providing excellent versatility in using your exhaust fan. These four modes include Cool Only Mode The exhaust fan is only controlled by the temperature in the grow tent. DU Only Mode The exhaust fan is only controlled by the humidity levels in the grow tent. Cool Priority Mode the exhaust fan is controlled by both temperature and humidity. However, it will prioritize temperature to be within the defined range if both can't be achieved. DU Priority Mode The exhaust fan is controlled by both temperature and humidity. However, it will prioritize humidity to be within the defined range if both can't be achieved. On this page, you also have to set the minimum and maximum fan speed the exhaust fan can operate at. The last setting within the F1 block is the CO2 interlock setting. Buying and refilling CO2 cylinders can be expensive. That is why Trollmaster provides a CO2 interlock function in the Tent X controller. The CO2 interlock function is a powerful tool to preserve your CO2 supply. When the CO2 interlock function is toggled on, CO2 will not be injected into the grow tent when the fans are activated, allowing you to keep your set points and not waste your CO2 supply. There are two functions involved with F2. The first one is adjusting the speed of the intake fan, and as a result, being able to adjust the negative pressure in the grow tent. The second function is to deactivate the fans when the temperature or humidity goes below the defined set points. This allows the grow tent's temperature and humidity to rise back up to the desired levels instead of allowing the temperature or humidity levels to get too low. The System tab lets you set your miscellaneous settings for your Tent X controller. This is where you can set what format you like your temperature and EC format to be in and your time settings. Moreover, it's where you can override your controller if you like to test and make sure everything is connected and working properly with the controller. You can also scan the QR code to pair your smart device with the controller or do a complete system reset if there's a need to do so. On this page, you can also calibrate the climate of the grow tent, the nutrients for your plants, and the grow medium in which the plants are in. Furthermore, you can set your dead band set points for the temperature, humidity, and CO2 levels on this page. Set your water detectors in case of leakage or water confirmation, your WD delay time, and alarm settings for your climate, nutrients, and grow medium. When the values exceed or drop below the defined maximum and minimum set point in the alarm settings, you will immediately be notified on the controller and through Troll Master's app, TM Plus Pro. Lastly, the adjustable variable range for your tent's temperature and humidity can also be set here. Its purpose is to allow the exhaust fan to start operating at the maximum speed set by the user in the F1 settings when the temperature or humidity exceeds 5 degrees Fahrenheit, 3 degrees Celsius, or 5% humidity of the user's original set points. As the temperature or humidity drops back to the climate set point, the fan will gradually resume to the minimum speed set by the user in a linear fashion. The Tent X is intended to be used by growers who want a compact control system for their grow tents. Moreover, being able to control both the environment and the irrigation of a grow tent is a powerful feature allowing for a wide variety of uses. Using precise technology, the Tent-X makes growing easy and cost-effective.